Case number seven is from a 73-year-old male. Here we have a lytic and expansile mass in the distal radius extending to the articular surface and is centered in the epiphysis of this long bone. The mass has a well-defined but non-sclerotic and narrow zone of transition proximally. The mass remodels and expands the cortex but does not destroy the cortex. Uh, in addition, there's no matrix formation. However, there are white lines corresponding to cystic changes. This patient is skeletally mature. As you can see, the uh, nearby ulna, the growth plate has closed. So tissue is obtained, which shows a mass that completely expands and fills the marrow cavity in this lung bone and it extends all the way to the epiphysis. Here is the joint surface right here, the articular surface. And so this mass goes all the way up to the epiphysis. And then uh, peripherally, the mass extends to and kind of disrupts and um, eats away at the cortex, but does not uh, blow through the cortex. There is no real soft tissue extension um, either uh, on either side. At higher power view, this process is uh, composed of mononuclear cells that are round to oval, somewhat spindled, as well as an admixture of osteoclast-like giant cells. Some of these osteoclast-like giant cells contain greater than 50 nuclei per cell. The mononuclear cells uh, may show some scattered mitotic activity. And Interestingly, these mononuclear cells have um, similar, if not identical, nuclei to the osteoclast-like giant cells nearby. However, it is only the mononuclear cells that are neoplastic, as is seen here with a G34W immunohistochemical stain. It only highlights the mononuclear cells. And you can see that the osteoclast-like giant cells are completely negative. This is a giant cell tumor of bone, which is a tumor of skeletally mature patients typically greater than age 20 years of age, um, with a mean of age 34. There's a slight female predominance. It typically occurs in the epiphysis of long bones. However, 10% of cases occur in uncommon sites, such as the vertebrae, the sacrum, head, neck, hands, and feet, and uh, is composed of neoplastic mononuclear cells, which are oval to polyhedrals. Some can be spindled, you know, somewhat epithelioid. Uh, the background osteoclast-like giant cells often will have greater than 20 nuclei per cell. Number of osteoclast-like giant cells can be very variable, though. Um, recently, a histone uh, protein at position G34W uh, was detected, a mutation was detected, and a immunohistochemical surrogate was developed um, that can be very diagnostically useful for this diagnosis of giant cell tumor of bone, which is at this point both sensitive and specific for this tumor and is not seen in its um, mimics, namely chondroblastoma, aneurysma, bone, cyst. Uh, giant cell tumor of bone uh, will rarely have lung metastases uh, and a subset may show malignant D differentiation uh, with a anaplastic high-grade sarcoma juxtaposed to a conventional giant cell tumor of bone. Um, this is a locally recurrent and rarely uh, metastasizing neoplasm. The treatment is curatage or on block resection. And in difficult cases, radiation or treatment with denosumab, which is a rank ligand inhibitor, may be considered. 